This is Coyote News. One person's dead and two injured after a car struck a tree in Sioux Falls early this morning. Police confirmed that all of the victims were under the age of 18 and say speed and drugs appear to be a factor. Sergeant Tim Hagen of the Sioux Falls Police Department says it's too soon to tell if alcohol was a factor in the crash. But there are mixed reports about whether or not other cars were involved in the incident. A South Dakota State Penitentiary inmate was on the run for just a short time this morning before being recaptured by the police. Sala Thiel Pointer is serving a 10-year sentence for grand theft. Pointer was supposed to be on a work release at the Sioux Falls Community Work Center. After he failed to show up at the designated time, police started to search. Failure to return is a second degree escape, a class five felony, potentially adding five years to his sentence. Transgender rights groups are facing a major setback after the Trump administration announced it's revoking federal guidelines that tell public schools to let students use bathrooms that match their chosen identity. The decision is a reversal of an Obama era directive that advised public schools to grant bathroom access to students, to students in line with their expressed gender, gender identity. American Federation of Teachers President Randy Weingarten says that it tells students that it's okay with the Trump administration and Department of Education for them to be abused and harassed at school for being transgender. And those are your headlines.